Hello everyone. Uh, hope everyone's doing great. Richard here. Um, this is the second video in my uh, hamstring recovery series. It's going to be a new uh, uh, series on my YouTube channel. So you'll be able to find all my videos in one series. My first video was last week, actually about uh, close to 10 days ago, I uh, made a video um, about it was part of another video but it, it was my health update um been having uh, hamstring issues for several months um i thought i had some minor pull uh, not pulls but bruising and stuff and i had several races um and i had habanero in august which i did about 50k and then in uh, uh october early october i had arkansas traveler I did about 60 miles. I felt good. I mean, hamstring hurt a little bit before that, and it felt fine like it is now. I mean, it's no pain or anything. And uh, at Penhody 100, um, I took a fall, got up. My hamstring uh, hurt a little bit. I thought it was just from saving myself. Because you know when you save yourself, you throw your your lead leg. I'm right. I'm right-handed, so... I'm dominant on my right side. I also push more with my right leg. At least I think I do. Some people say that's not possible, but I always think that my right leg is doing most of the work anyways. Um, because when you fall, you put out your leg to stop you and it's at a full extension, which is the most, makes your hamstring the most vulnerable. And it's doing the braking power, power when you're trying to s stop from falling, you know. You know, I'm 205 to 210 pounds. It's a lot of weight coming down. <laughs> and uh, I got back up, ran a few more miles, and then I had a bad fall. I've been thinking about it a lot. I'm not sure if my hamstring had a real big problem and made me fall, or I tripped on a root or rock. I think I tripped, you know, because the trails have a lot of leaves and straw, pine needles. Anyways, when I got up, my hamstring was was hurting really bad and I, and like I said in my last video I had to hike for several more hours with a hurt hamstring <laughs> well about a week ago I visited um Austin Sports Medicine it's a very big sports medicine uh, uh, clinic uh, in Austin they near UT and they specialize in sports injuries. They have a lot of doctors there and surgeons and a big PT staff. So it's kind of far for me. It's about an hour, hour and a half to drive there. But I thought it'd be worth it because I wanted somebody that specializes in sports, especially running. And he said, well, I want to check you. I explained my situation and he said, I want to check you for a tear because you've had pain sitting down and uh, so I got an MRI, 30 minute MRI. That was quite an ordeal. I've never had one before. Um, anyways, uh, my hamstring's been feeling okay. I mean, uh, you know, my legs are very developed. You know, I've had very big legs from running 30 plus years. So I think they've been compensating for maybe some of the injury that I had. But, so I went in there to get feedback on the MRI and I thought he was gonna tell me, well, you're gonna be fine because that's my honest opinion, uh, because my leg wasn't hurting. And just kind of had, I told him it has kind of an arthritis feeling. I don't, I don't know if that was just from my age, you know, I'm 56, but I also felt a little weirdness in my knee area, you know, cause the hamstring goes all the way down your, you know, connects at the knee. I've never had any knee issues my whole life. But when I've made my last fall, um, I jammed my knee into the ground. I know that because, I mean, it didn't feel injured, but I was very bruised. So I know, because I did, I tumbled twice. Um, people running behind me said I did like a Spider-Man roll. I mean, it was funny, but it wasn't funny because I really hurt myself. Took myself out of the race too. Um, jammed my knee in the ground. Anyways, my knee, for the last few months, I've kind of feel something weird here and there, you know, kind of a tendon thing. Didn't think much of it. Well, anyways, I went to the doctor's office last Friday. Today's, you know, 
today's Sunday, but you'll be watching this on Tuesday. I'll release a video on Tuesday. So doctor came in and said, uh, you really messed up your hamstring. Uh, you need to go in surgery on Tuesday. That's what he told me. So he goes, if you want to return back to the full potential of what you have, he says, that's what you need to do. And uh, I'll read what the MRI said. And then I'll tell you what he's gonna have to do. Um, so it's no dislocation or anything. Hip and knee are fine. Uh, soft tissue, this is where the problem is. My muscle, tendons. There is a complete tear or rupture of the proximal right hamstring tendons retracted distally resulting in a up to five centimeter tendon gap. That's not good. So basically my, my tendons came off the bone or ruptured, I'm not sure. But anyways, they've, they've pulled down five centimeters, which is basically two inches. I'm just kind of surprised I can't really feel more than I feel. Maybe it's just because I have big legs, you know, very well developed thighs and glutes and calves. Maybe it's compensating, I can't feel it, but I mean, I had a lot of pain after it happened, but right now I don't have any pain, but it also says there is some adjacent soft tissue swelling, which extends distally in and around, around the hamstring muscles. So impression or basically what, what's the, the conclusion here is complete tear or rupture of the right proximal hamstrings resulting in the five centimeter fluid filled tendon gap. Uh, basically what I just said, that's just kind of a summary. So the doctor's very experienced. I mean, he even does hip replacements, so I feel pretty comfortable with him. He seems to know what he's talking about. I mean, he told me, he said, you don't, you don't have to do this, but the rest of your life, it'll be a little bit discomfort here and there, and you won't be able to do what you do because I'm a very active person. So he said, he's highly, he didn't suggest it. He said, he basically said, you need to go into surgery next Tuesday. He said that it, it's a, you know, something needs to be fixed. I really feel that way because it, it feels like it completely goes away. And of course there's some sitting pain. Standing, I don't feel anything, but I, every once in a while it just starts to really aching. So I know it, it's kind of, it makes sense now. It's pulled down some, you know, two inches. And uh, basically what he has to do is he has to go in there and uh, drill some holes and put in some anchors and put it back in place. He says it's about a six month process, of getting back to normal. So, I mean, it's bad news. But I try to stay positive about it. I mean, I can still focus on my weightlifting. Once you know, one thing is that after he does this, he's got to. I get to put in a special leg brace so that my knee stays bent for six weeks. So I'm going to be on crutches for a minimum of six weeks. And my house, most things in my house, living wise, are upstairs. So it's going to take some getting used to. The good, I guess, the positive is that. I'm very strong on the ski machine. You know, I've done 50 Ks, everything, and I'm always doing things on my ski machine. So my hiking and hiking pole strength or my crutching strength should be good. You know, I walk my kids to school and pick them up every day. It's about a half a mile. I've done that. I mean, my son's in fifth grade. I've done it every day since he, and uh, my daughter's in third grade. I'm a little sad about that because I'm not gonna be able to do that and my wife because of her work. So my son will have to start walking his sister to school. He probably could have, I mean, they let him do that from third grade. He's in fifth grade and he's 120 pounds, five foot three, he's a big kid. So they'll be fine. Just, uh, I'm a kind of highly protective person. So. so there's gonna be some changes in my life. I did get a new uh, preacher bench today. Uh, for curling. So I think after a week or two, I have to play it by ear, you know, how, how I'm feeling to lay down or sit down. But I should be able to do some weightlifting, non-weight non, non -weight bearing on my leg. 
you know, if I'm, you know, laying down, should be able to do it. And I've also got my band equipment that, uh, I forget what it's called. I'm just having a mind blank, oh, mind blank right now. But I do have some stuff I can work out with on my arms and shoulders sitting down. So I'm gonna stay busy. I've got several books I need to read that I haven't read in a while. I haven't, I bought, but I haven't read, you know. I have a, a Goucher book and uh, I have a Peter Atiyah's Outlive book, which is very thick. <laughs> uh, I have the Des Linden book. I have three books I haven't read, so I work on that and do book reviews on that. Another downer is I work so hard to get into the uh, the running event next week. Not next week. Uh, I guess it's, it starts in about 10 days. And uh, it's doubtful that I'll be able to go to that. Mm. I don't know. I'm play by ear. I mean, if I'm feeling okay running around on crutches, I'll show up to the show, show on crutches. That's how important it is to me. But I don't know how much pain I'm going to be in. I know I'm going to be in a lot of pain. Um, it's very painful hurting the thing and trying to get back to normal. Um, cutting up, cutting up, cutting open my... Uh, back of my leg and going in and drilling and putting in anchors and pulling the muscle in place. I know I'm going to be in pain for a while. I might have painkillers and stuff, but I'm just hoping that it stabilizes fairly quickly. So, I mean, there's some chance I'll go to the running event next week. We'll see. The doctor did say, well, you really can't drive. I got to thinking about it. I mean, he's basing that on, uh, I mean, I drove when, when I was injured. Um, one thing different about me is when I was very young, I learned to drive with two feet. And of course I would drive with two feet when I drive my car, which is standards, but when I drive automatics, I also drive with two feet. So I think the doctor was thinking that I drive only with my right foot, like a lot of people do. You know, they use the accelerator and then they move it to the brake, whatever. Well, my right foot never goes to the brake. I use my left foot. So I'm gonna see, see if I can drive my wife's car after a week or so, but it just depends on how much pain I am sitting down because that's a hard thing about hamstring injuries. When you sit down, it's painful, and that's what I was feeling. When you're standing up, you don't have any problem at all. I mean, really, no pain at all. Of course, I'll have some pain after surgery, even standing up, I'm sure. But uh, the other bummer is I had to pull out a Western States lottery. I've done that already. The good thing is they have a buy. Uh, you can take a buy year. So I've, I've switched it to buy. So I won't be in this year's lottery, but when I join the lottery next November, I should go back to eight tickets. The challenging part is, let's say I can't run until September. I have to qualify again next year with another 100 miler. That means I have to find a 100 miler in the summertime or early fall to qualify. So it's going to be tricky. Otherwise, I, I'll lose all my four years of work. But, you know, he says six months to get back to normal. You know, I'm not normal. I usually recover very fast from things. I've had a lot of injuries, you know, in running and weightlifting and stuff. So who knows? Maybe after three or four months, I can do some light running. And maybe by summertime. I mean, I don't really do running. I do jogging. Adventure jogging, I call it. I mean, I don't do sprints and I don't run fast, so it may be doable. We'll have to see. Um, yeah, so that's it. So, uh, so uh, you'll be watching this video on Tuesday. So when you're watching this video, I'll already be in surgery. So say a prayer for me, wish me the best of luck. And uh, I'm positive things will work out. Uh, yeah, I will still be very active on my YouTube channel doing product reviews. I probably won't be doing any running shoe reviews uh, for a while. But I'll be doing equipment reviews, weightlifting stuff. My burpee pract uh, practitioner practice will be probably not happening for a while. Maybe even until mid-spring or whatever. I can do push-ups because I've been injured and I was... Last week I hit four days of, three or four days I did 200 plus push-ups. 
So push-ups are no problem, but when you do burpees, you kind of swing your legs up. You know, you're putting a lot of torque on your hip. So I won't be doing those for a while, but I'll be doing push-ups and calisthenics and uh, weightlifting. And uh, who knows, I might get back into cycling some, but I'll still be very active. So please keep following me on my channel. But uh, this series is the second video in the series. And uh, so I'll have a video every week or two, uh, giving you progress on how I'm recovering from the surgery. And uh, next video, I'll show you the, the uh, leg brace that I'm in. So I'm gonna tell the doctor extra reinforce my tendons. I don't care if he has to put an extra screw in because I want to be stronger than before because I need I need I need my right leg working right but hope everybody's doing good uh, I'm staying positive just wanted to let you know what's going on you know something sometimes you get kicked in the balls you know and uh, I'll get through this it's definitely my worst injury I've had athletically ever um, you know, I did motocross racing for 12 years, never got hurt, never broken a bone in my body, still haven't broken a bone in my body. That was one thing that I was thinking, maybe I had a, f a femur stress fracture, but I didn't, didn't have anything cracked or broken. So still 56 years, no broken bones, even doing crazy sports my whole life. But I'll get through this, I'm positive about it. And uh, stay tuned, so. Have a great Thanksgiving. It's gonna be next week. So you're watching this on Tuesday, two days later, it's gonna be Thanksgiving on Thursday. If you celebrate Thanksgiving, hope you have a great holiday and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.